What's up guys? Today I have news. It looks like Windows 8.1 is going to come out soon. Later on this month maybe. Or probably at the end of the year. So this just comes in. I've been researching this for a while and wanted you guys to know. Um, I guess they want to change Windows 8 because so many users have been complaining about certain things or giving feedback and recommendations, stuff like that. So um, I'm looking at a couple articles here online trying to research this. Now, it looks like uh, what they're planning on doing here is changing a couple things. One of them is the, chain, the size of the tiles. We'll get to that here in a bit. Greater personalization. Uh, they want to have a lock screen slideshow. For, the, for some reason, the lock screen function, people were using it to uh, show people their pictures. So they're going to use that that way. It's going to have more backgrounds. You know, this really fancy uh, backgrounds that's behind the start screen and all that. They're going to have a lot more of them. Different tile sizes, like I was saying. You can make them bigger. That way they're easier to click on, I guess. They're going to add an aggregated search, which is, which is powered by Bing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. Enhanced apps. They're going to have uh, apps where, like, for example, your photo app, where you can go in there and edit it however you want. Uh, snap views where you can have multiple uh, apps open at the same time. They're going to enhance the Windows Store also. And the SkyDrive, they're going to make it more direct. So you can just, boom, just save your files. I think they might make like a shortcut or something just to save a file real quick. Um, now this right here has me really worried. No longer need the desktop control panel. I am so used to, and a lot of users are used to, how the control panel looks and where to get to through the control panel to change certain things. Now that they're going to change it to look, to be all, oh no, that I don't like. The control panel is going to be different. It's going to be a whole new um, getting used to there. Oh well, you know, you got to accept change, I guess. It's going to have a new Internet Explorer. Uh, I hate that new one. I, you know, I've been using the desktop Internet Explorer for the longest time on Windows 8 because that new one takes up the whole screen. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, they're still going to have the mouse and keyboard because people still, you know, prefer that. And they, uh, they're they going to better that a little bit. And um, there's a rumor going out that there's a start button. I'll show you another article here in a bit about that. Now, the release date is uh, is rumored to be um, in late June, around there, or later in the year. Now let me show you another article over here. Um, so the arrival date is around June, they say. That's what it's rumored. We'll see. And now about the start button. People say it's going to return. There's rumors going about it. I think it is going to happen for real. It's going to have a little start button at the bottom left-hand corner, just like we're used to. But it's not really going to open up a, a start a start uh, menu there like we're used to. It's going to actually just go to the start page. When you click on the start button, it'll just go to the start page. And that's what I was recommending in my previous video. I said Windows should have done that. Microsoft should have done that. Just put the start button right there and take it to the start screen. You know, People don't always know to hit the Windows key on the keyboard. But the start button is going to return, but not like people wanted it. It's still going to go to the start menu, but at least the start button's there, you know. And they're going to have a direct to desktop mode now. You know, when you first start Windows 8 and it goes to the stupid start screen and people want to go directly to the desktop, that's going to be possible now. So you can set that up. And it's got a lot of business features now. They enhanced it for IT. I have another article for that. They're going to have better wireless features, better IT controls where you can... uh uh, block certain apps, stuff like that. Remote business data removal for big companies, uh, corporations, that's going to come in handy. Auto-triggered VPN, that's going to be a lot easier to uh, connect to virtual private networks. Assigned access, this this is usually made for the kiosks that they have, um, kiosks, however the hell you say that. Um, because I guess Windows 8 wasn't working that good with kiosks, so now they... Uh, they enhanced that a little bit. So there you go. Those are the business. These right here are the business enhancements. And like I said, the release date, I think, is going to be around June. It's going to be kind of like a service pack, I believe. They don't want to call it a service pack, but 
That's what it is, in my opinion. So let's wait and let's see what happens. Uh, the rumor is late June or maybe at the end of the year sometime. So I'll keep you guys updated and, and I'll post another video with the with an update pretty soon. Thanks for watching and um, do some research of your own too and let me know. Comment comment on the video below. Let me know if I missed anything or or um, anything we should be aware of. Thanks for watching and you guys have a good rest of your day.